Abracadabra, magic, poof, ah, magic. Today the Try Guys are trying magic. And then at the end of this, we are going to put on a performance for the toughest crowd that exists. Yeah, you guys are a little younger. How many magic shows have you been to? That's my first one. Jamie's back. And, and Jamie brought his friends. If this is not a six or a nine, you win $100. Do I actually get $100 if... We're all pretty excited to see what happens. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. excited. Yeah. Let's find out. Magic isn't magic, it's sleight of hand, it's illusion, and honestly, that makes it more impressive to me. I don't know how they do it. Even when I do know how they're doing it, I'm not really sure how they're doing it. Teaching us today, we have Kevin Lee, magician extraordinaire. Who is actually a magician who was able to fool Penn and Teller on their show. Fool us. Like professional magician, that is your job. That's my job, I travel around the world sharing magic and mentalism. Where's the coolest place you've gone? It was actually pretty recently. It was at Coachella with the headliner Jackson Wang and his album was called Magic Man, so he wanted to incorporate magic and I was on stage performing with him. I don't think magic's real. In terms of like, I don't think there is a mystical energy. Because if there is, there's more change that they could create. I think that would be better than just moving cards around. Show us what you got. Let's see some tricks. We'll start off with a game. It's a card scam. Okay. Right? They used to play on the streets of New York, three cards, uh, one money card, in this case, the seven of clubs. Do your best to follow this. Okay. The game begins now. Don't oh, you that? dare. Where is the money card, the seven of clubs? Seven of clubs is right there. There one. This that, one. That's the one. <laughs> you did, there's no way. Are you sure? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm positive. I really love close-up magic. When someone is standing this far away from you. Nothing happened. Okay, thank God. God. Nothing happened yet. We're just getting warmed up. So this is a distraction card, the four of diamonds. Uh -huh. I'm also going to add in another four of diamonds just to make this more interesting. Okay. Wow. So two fours and a seven. Keith, can you hold out your right hand for me? So nice and slow right here. It's too late. Seven of clubs. Where is it? Don't. I really hope it's there. <laughs> yeah, flip it around. <laughs> so it happened already. <laughs> <laughs> it's fast. Yeah, it was fast. I started off with my grandpa. He taught me a very simple trick. Took the vanishing handkerchief, put it in, and then disappears. Classic. And I took it to school, and people just thought it was so cool. As a very shy kid, that was my means of communicating with everyone. So I would just go online and search up like easy to do magic tricks, and I just started off that way. Can you hold out your left hand? Uh -huh. Okay. So we'll place the four here. Just two cards to focus on. The laws are in your favor, all right? Maybe Zach, me. you can watch the seven. It's, you can watch the four. It's too late. So where is lost. the seven now? <laughs> it's, it's the seven should be here. Yeah, it's still here. Nothing happened, right? But this is until I do this. This, then it looks as if it's not there anymore. Yeah. Oh. And it can only be in one place. I know, it's in my hand. Ah! How? Editor, slow this, please. Magic has evolved in a way where it's gone from something that's like really flashy, right? to now something more casual on the streets where you're wearing something like an everyday person. I think that's the most impactful magic is when no one knows that you're about to do magic and then it just happens. I saw you had some candy. Some mints. Some generic yeah. candy. Can you take this? In a standard box. <laughs> Open it up. Put one in my hand, please. And then pour also one in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. Love. Try this, try this. Close your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Do that. <laughs> Ew. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. You can't, I don't, it's coming. I can't look. Just fine. Out I can't of look. his eyeball. Okay, stay still, stay still. <laughs> I can't, I can't. It came out <laughs> of his eyeball. <laughs> it's very it minty. Came out of his eyeball. <laughs> I feel We're so fresh. This. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Oh, don't you just wish you could magically make all your problems disappear? Well, you can't make them disappear, but you can work through them with BetterHelp. Bro, no cap? No cap. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. And how does it make you feel that you can find a licensed therapist from the comfort of your home? 
it makes me feel seen. Wait, uh, who's the doctor? We both, we're both the doctor. Oh. How does it make you feel that to get started, you just answer a few simple questions about your situation and then BetterHelp can help match you with the perfect therapist just for you. That's hella tight. So tight. And how does it make you feel that you can select from over 30,000 licensed therapists and keep choosing until you find the one that's right for you? Facts. <laughs> Facts. And I could just text my therapist or I could call them or do a video chat. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. It's giving therapy on my schedule. On God? On God. There's so many different ways and it all makes it so easy. Hmm, and why have you been dreaming about me? I'm not sure we can get into that here. Hmm. But I can get into that with my therapist through BetterHelp. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Bet? Bet. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash tryguys. And you can check it in the link in the description. It's giving affordable therapy. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And now it's time to get back to the magic. Poof. Are y'all ready to learn some magic right now? Class time. Okay, because in one hour, there's gonna be a live audience waiting to watch your magic show, so yes. Oh, we so better learn how to do magic. <laughs> I'm a little excited to learn today. I'm also very intimidated. I feel like I'm good at this kind of thing, so if I'm not good at this, I'll feel really disappointed. All right, welcome everybody to the magic show. How's everybody Woo! feeling tonight? Good, good. Yeah, how are you? I'm gonna give this a little shuffle ski When I was a kid, obviously I wanted to do magic. I got a bunch of magic kits, and I was like, oh wow, I'm gonna mystify everybody. And then you open them up, and it's a book you have to read. And shit you have to practice. I don't like practice. What are the skills necessary for being a magician? Practice. Oh. Practice and endurance, because you're gonna be doing the same things and the same moves over and over again. Tell me when. Tell me when. Tell me when. Ah. I looked at it. You looked at it. That's, that's totally my bad. You're gonna be dropping cards. Pretty. <laughs> oh, this is your card. You're gonna be frustrated. Don't take your eyes off the card. Don't look at me. Don't tell me when to stop. Well, I don't know. Are you a f***ing magician, bro? Stop. Stop. Tell me when to stop. stop. But it's literally like muscle memory. Stop now. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people think magic is all about what the magician can do. It's like, look at me, look how talented I am. For me, I want magic to be more connective. I want people to literally be involved during the entire process and maybe even think that they did it. Whenever you want, Zach, say stop. Okay, I'll close my eyes too. Stop! What's the card? Ace of hearts. Gone. I didn't even move, right? Where'd it go? We have to double check. So if we spread through the cards right now, let's go like this. Let me know when you see the Ace of Hearts. That's the diamonds. Mm -hmm. Ace of Hearts, Ace mm -hmm. of Hearts. Not there anymore. Inside my pocket, I have one card. Ace of Hearts. But how? When you're performing, every single person you perform for is trying to Figure it out. You diffuse it with your story. Everything is so focused on the tricks of magic that the story is the thing that makes everyone forget about that focus and really get into what you're trying to communicate. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart when the music is free? So you guys look like a bunch of gamblers to me. <laughs> Feel like cards? Yeah. We have a deck of cards here. It's a normal deck of cards. You guys get it. You trust me. No, you're uh, a magician. Okay. I'm gonna we'll go through these these cards. You just tell me when to stop, okay? Go ahead. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I need you to say stop now. So sorry. So you're going a little too fast right now. Stop. Uh, say a few magic words. Um, praise be to the Lord. <laughs> and that should do it. And what if I told you that that card was now gone. No. Where could it have gone? Before the trick starts, you take this card and you plant it anywhere you want. I honestly think it'll be stronger if you make it appear in someone else's pocket. <laughs> wow, they're becoming magicians. Okay, now I know that your card. Oh, oh. It's Jack Clubs. It's fine. Oh, it's probably on the bottom, right? So tell you. I got the ace right. Okay, those are clubs. Hmm. I don't know. 
So there it is. Do you see it? No. It's right there. Yeah, no, no, right? It's flying off. <gasps> no. Oh! In my heart! And I'm an ace. Hey. <laughs> For someone getting into magic, how do you start? Just go online, search up like how to do easy magic tricks, and there is a scope of different types of tricks. Mentalism, card tricks, coin tricks. Whatever they're interested in, that's the way they should go. How this works is a little trick card. <gasps> we have this card that's taped together. So we have the Ace of Hearts is the one I want you to choose, taped on the bottom with another card. And this card, you'll notice, is cut a little shorter. The reason being is so when I'm going through the cards, it naturally stops here. So you put this special card inside the deck and then now it's about timing. So you riffle through and then it just naturally, I'm not even trying right now, and it's stopping here every single time. Make sure they see it clearly. Close it up and then all you have to do is spread the cards and it's gone. Wow. Is, that, is that something that you like taped and built yourself or okay. is it, okay. Exactly, very simple to do. Pair of scissors, two playing cards, and some tape. All right, so Zach and I will take 20 minutes to change, practice our tricks a couple times, and then we're gonna get ready to put on a magic show. For the toughest crowd that exists. Teens are hard to please. It's like no bullshit type crowd where it either works or it doesn't. There's really no in between. They love it or they just hate it. I, I think Zach actually might be better at this than me because he's got such like roomier clothes. You know, to be a good magician, you gotta be like smooth and, and practiced and good with your hands. I, um, these, have, these things haven't worked a day in their lives. Keep cheering. Oh. <laughs> Keep cheering. Hello everyone, I am the amazing Keith. Is everybody here like magic? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Have you been I to guess. a magic show before? That's my first one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's very exciting. That makes you a perfect candidate for a volunteer. Oh my God. But actually, I, I don't need you, I just need your phone. Do you have your phone on you? I do have my phone. Can I get your phone? Could actually you open it up to the calculator app? Back when I was in high school and middle school, my teacher was like, now you're gonna have to learn how to do this math. It's not like you're gonna have a calculator in your pocket for the rest of your life. <laughs> so we have a, a six, right? We have a six here. I'm gonna turn this six into a nine. Better yet, how many sixes do we want? Three. Eight. The mark of the beast. Three? <laughs> Three. <laughs> Will wants a devil amount. So let's do, I'm gonna, as you can see, I'm just adding sixes. Three sixes, right? Yeah. Ready? Voila. Wow. <laughs> right? It's true though, it really does, like it, it wants to be a nine. It just, it wants to be a nine. At some point, like, it just, it is. Whoa. Oh. 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 At some point it just does it. Because it wants to be a nine so bad. Sometimes it can, it has the will. It's magic. You know, we have to have cards, right? We all like cards. Clap it up for some cards. A little energy for the cards, right? But even more, I bet what would make you even more excited than a deck of cards is the opportunity to win some money! Yeah! Yeah! That's right! Money, a hundred dollars here and a hundred dollars here. That's two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars doesn't need to be any bigger number. It's happy how it is. Uh, I already used you, so why don't I use the two of you? Do you want to win some money today? Yes. Now, you're actually going to win these hundred dollars. Each of you will win a hundred dollars. All you have to do is not accidentally choose from this deck of cards, a six or a nine. Oh Make sense? <laughs> That's not fair enough, is it? That's still, that gives me eight chances to beat you. That's too many. I wanna beat you with the slimmest odds possible. Let's choose the six and the nine of spades. So I'm going to count these cards out. At any point you say stop. As long as you don't choose the six or nine of spades, you're gonna win $100. Each of you is going to say stop in your own time. So I'm going to start they're doing not, these cards. They're not all the six of the nine of spades, right? No, no, no. Like, they're all like, they're just cards. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. cards. So you're, I'm going to spread them out. I'm going to count them down. You're going to tell me when to stop. How about you first? What's your name? Zach. 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 A beautiful name. Thank you. <laughs> With an H or a K? An H. C-A-C-H. Oh, yeah. yeah, we yeah. love that round here. OK. You just tell me whenever you want, when you want me to stop. Ready? How's the speed? Good? Slower? A little faster. faster. A little faster. <laughs> a little faster. <laughs> Can you slow down a little this way? Uh... 
You're gonna have to choose one of these cards. <laughs> Can you speed up again? Sorry. Uh, I don't like it. There's like 10 cards left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of cards. Okay, I like that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, man. Good. <laughs> well, okay. You're really making this trick hard, but I think it's going to still work out, I hope. Maybe you will walk away with $100, but it's okay because it's not my money. Uh, I, got, I got given this $100 right before. So this is your card. Yeah. Okay. Hilarious. I'm going to put your $100 bills right here, right on top, right on top of that card, right? Okay, let me just put this here. You don't have a lot of choices left. You've got to choose in this last little stack. <laughs> okay. You only have so many cards to choose, so I'm going to go pretty slow. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this right here. That was your choice. I'm going to put that on the bottom as well. Okay, so you guys chose all those things. You chose those cards. Well, you really, I think, had the yeah. most sway in today's game. I'm going to spread all these out. I'm going to pull out the cards you chose. And as long again as you didn't choose the six and the nine, you win $100. What would you do if you won $100? What would you buy? Spend it on go-karts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, buy we're building and buying go-karts. Okay. I was like, uh, yeah. wow. Yeah, guys, I love that. <laughs> Spread these out. Well, I don't have to go very totally far to find this first one. That's your first card. And then we gotta go all the way to the other end of the spectrum here for this card. Okay. These were the cards. Did you put the $100 on top of the card? I think I did, right? No, but like, isn't it the one right below it? I don't remember. Do you remember? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was the one right below. You want this card? Yeah, I want this card. You want this card? <laughs> you're gonna have <laughs> You're gonna yeah, have change the card. Well, you, this was your card. Zach. Oh, oh yeah, 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 no, switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. So you want him to win? Uh, yes, switch it, switch it. Yeah, yeah, I, well, I want you to switch You're it. Ruining okay. The you are ruining the trick. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Let's start with you. If it's not a six or a, a nine of spades, then you will win $100. Okay, great. Ready? Sorry, you lost. Oh. Now, it feels really funny that you chose to make sure you lost, but he maybe will win. Because we have two cards to choose. Dude, if you messed up this trick, <laughs> you're the biggest asshole. That's right. Now, which which one do you want? I want the one that switched. You want the one that switched? Yeah. This that, is the one. That one, one, the one that he the one that he thought was the right one, which this is this one. No, 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 no. I want the one. You want that, the one that he thought. Now he just lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, but the one you chose the one. someone. In, you chose the one initially. The one on the right. Yeah. You want this one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? He did. Yeah. We're all pretty excited to see what happens. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited. Do I actually get $100 if... I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rules of the game. Right? That's what I said. Yeah. I would never lie. You did probably. And I went to the bank today, so even though that's not my $100, if I lose it, I will give you $100 of my dollars. Aww. Okay. Yeah. Ready? That's very kind. Okay. <laughs> Let's find out. If this is not a six or a nine, you win $100. You won $100! Yeah. And I lost yeah. the magic game! <laughs> His yeah. trick. <laughs> I thought you would he this cheated. Part. He cheated. I didn't cheat. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were just wrong. No, no. no I'm really the amazing wrong. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, Zach. You got to be really careful up here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mother is ready for some magic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the Sorry. Um You guys feel that, right? There's just something that's weird. No. You sure? Look look into my eyes real quick. <laughs> you give wise. Thank you. No one ever notices because of the glasses. I see you. Okay, and you you you're you're locking that in. Yeah. Okay. Because this is not how I was planning on doing things. <laughs> I mean... Wait, what's... I'm pretty sure. I, I had like a whole routine. I've been working all day on it. Jack, like, what'd you take before this? <laughs> you don't want to know, man. <laughs> okay, uh, so take this, please. 
and if you could swallow that for me. <laughs> Actually? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, put that on a person somewhere, somewhere that I can't get it. Now let's get to the routine, shall we? Get ready for some magic! Yeah! yeah. That's right, you seem excited. <laughs> you wanna do some magic? Yeah, let's do it, Zach. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shuffle these cards like this. Uh -huh. You're just gonna tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Okay, okay you're ready. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Stop. Okay, you see the card? Yep. Good looking card. Yeah. Now, is your card the Ace of Hearts? Yeah, but didn't you look? <laughs> you look. Okay, 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 <laughs> fine, you got me, fair enough. Tough crowd. Fair enough. <laughs> I won't do that trick good. then. That was pretty good. But I could maybe do something else with it. Yeah. Maybe I could make it, I don't know, freaking disappear. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Okay, watch me. Oh, Boom, nice. it's already done. Mm. What are you laughing at, Will? It's done. Yeah, yeah no, for sure, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe me. I just, to, to be clear here, because I have, I have sleeves, I'm gonna roll these up. You, you think I'm lying. So what was the card again? The Ace, Ace of, of hearts. hearts. Ace of Hearts. So we're gonna look for that. I see a uh, Ace of Clubs. You can get a closer look if you want. I don't see it. No? You, do you see it? No, 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 I don't see it, I don't see it. I don't think oh. it's there. Oh! Wait, there it is. Right there. No, 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 guys, it's there. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fart it out? Sure <laughs> oh, he actually is gonna, I was kidding. Will, I need some help. No! <laughs> You would have massaged your stomach. I, no, I, I pooed my pants. This is really embarrassing. I just don't want you guys to think that I'm pulling any funny business here. So my hands, Will, uh -huh. <laughs> if you could reach into my back right pocket, you please. Your right or my right? Uh, there's, there's only yeah, there's <laughs> one right. Okay, hold on here. There's a card in here. This is so hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow! That's... Freaking amazing! I'm wow. <laughs> Do you want to go? Yeah. Do you want to stand up and come on, come on over right. here? Because my hands are really fast. All right. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm doing anything crazy here. I want you to split the deck in about half. It's like almost half. Okay. Cool. Great. You may sit down now. Give it up for right. whoever that guy is. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna mark this so that we remember. Now. We've, we've split it in half, we all saw that. I didn't even do anything. Now, if I knew what card you picked, that would be preposterous. If I could somehow figure out, <laughs> if I could figure out what the middle card was that you picked. Oh, I didn't remember looking at them. Was I supposed to look at them? We're gonna figure no. it out. No, okay, right, right. Because you could have picked this card. I'm not even gonna look at it. You didn't pick that card. That's not the middle card. You could have picked whatever's at the bottom here, but you didn't do that. And you picked the Jack of Clubs. Yeah, maybe. Boom! Oh, oh no. it's three of hearts. Oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! No. No. Six one, of spades. One more. No. Just a boom. No, one more. In my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> But I did the boom, mm -hmm. and this is the card that came up, and that doesn't mix. Your face is doing that thing again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't, sorry, can you look inside your pocket please? Because at the beginning of this, you were telling me something, and it was really loud, mm -hmm. and if I somehow could have figured that out, I mean, then magic's friggin' real. Three of hearts. Mm -hmm. Because you are here with your two best friends and the three of you, Aww. your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try a game of intuition right now. So with this game of intuition, a deck of cards is of course made up of the red cards and the black cards. 
So you're gonna separate it with your intuition. So, so red cards here, all right. black cards here, face down. Doing magic was something I've always kind of been afraid of because of the fear of, you know, f***ing up a trick, and now I know exactly why I was so scared, and, <laughs> and I'll never do it again. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, it, it totally makes me want to do magic. This is a blast. Black card here, black card here, red, 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 red. Let's give Jamie a big round of applause! Yeah. Come on! Well, did you fool you? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Keith didn't, uh... <laughs>